Hello everyone, Antonos here. Welcome to The Stanley Parable. Now, yesterday we played Dr. Langerskoff game, which I think came out before Stanley Parable, made by the same people, Crows, Crows, Crows. They also made this game, Stanley Parable. If not played Stanley Parable before, I thoroughly recommend it. I'm going to have it a, give it a good old fun run through. So, begin game. Never the end, there's never the end, there's never the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. About that Orders job? came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. It's a fun life for you, Stanley. Stanley was happy. So he's happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. <sighs> no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, can move now. Yeah. Oh, hello. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope, can't go through those doors. All right, meeting room. It's been a long time since I played this. And what's really funny, this is actually one of the secret intros, which I've never got before, so that's a nice little bonus. Right, let's go this way. Door over here. Ooh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, yeah, go on then. I love this game, because you can disobey the narrator. It makes it a lot more fun. Meeting room! Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, I'd hate to be working on those days. Termination Tuesdays. Oof. Oh, we got over here. Targets. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Oh, ongoing. <laughs> oh, dear. Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agendas. Items. Right next day's agenda. Reflect. Oh. Nice meeting room. Nice chairs. Well, maybe not. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Number of slides on this chart. Nice chart, charts and stuff. Is that accurate? It looks like. <laughs> it looks like. Oh. Right, it was charts in the same slide to pick the same information. Oh, you've got a freaking pie chart. Scatter chart. Oh. Oh, goodness. No, that's too much maths for me. Oh, did it change again? Please, no more charts, please, and begging. <laughs> broom closet! Chris, are you in here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, like but it. there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nothing in here? Excuse me, there's a broom, there's a wash bucket, there is a assortment of metal... Uh, there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Yeah, all no right. reason to still be here. Oh, no. Go on then, let's go. Right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, all right, I'll follow your orders this time. Boss's office, boss's office. Ooh, plush. <gasps> Ooh, what's this door? Executive bathroom. Let me in. No one want me in. All right. Hmm. Door. Big door. Another computer? Come on, let me in. 
No, it's off. Isn't that way? Oh, come on. You can't jump. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief oh, these who orchestrated low quality this. Books. What dark secret <laughs> was being held Ooh, from him? Keypad. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. The terrible truth. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code <laughs> by sheer luck. I love the narrator Amazing. of this game. He stepped Ooh, into the secrets. newly opened passageway. Over here. Anything? It's pitch black. No. Okay, let's just go this way. Now we go. Oh, right. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I do. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But, 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 escape. Escape? Uh, follow the narrator. Just for the first one. A big button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What later. horrible secret did this way. place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I've got the strength. You just watch. I have Stanley. Cameras. Now the monitors Ooh, jumped to life. Their well, true nature seven. revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. And there's my desk. Stanley's <laughs> co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. And a lift. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it the couldn't be true. The aesthetic like there's patterns all over the place really and then there's one of those random ones over there. Time? Fired? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? There's that his one, two, emotions three, four, had one, been manipulated to place. accept it blindly? He's very unhappy. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Well, Had so. he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Very for right. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mind control is not allowed. I will destroy you. Ooh. Off. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I hope so. I want to escape? Yes. Ooh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Big door. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that oh, was buddy. all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! It's a good ending. It's a good ending. And off we go again. Right, that was one ending. Is it that time? Or is that just fake? What time does it say? Twenty uh, past eleven. No, it's not that time. Right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply See, missed a memo. This is what it's meant to look like. I got a secret start, the last one. Now, I'm going to do this one again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And instead of pressing off, I'm going to press on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I have to agree with that so much. That's, that's <laughs> it's so accurate. Right, so this way. I'm not going back in the broom closet. Right. Coming to a staircase, oh. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Again. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. I'm sorry, Mr. That narrator. That kind of anxiety I'm sorry. isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <sighs> Feeling soothed and <laughs> rejuvenated, Stanley better. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Then we go again. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I do. Ooh, I wonder if I can... Ooh, I forgot about this. Hold on. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Sorry about the background noise, I'm afraid I haven't got a microphone thought at the moment. And I live on the main road, so you may be hearing some traffic going past. Right. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. The glitch went up Each there. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Right. 
can do is press that. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Just wait. Just wait for a moment. Looking at that gate. It's normally about 30 seconds. Hope I got this right. There it goes. Right. Now we go back. You press this button again. Oh, I broke it. That's enough of that. No, <laughs> he refused to believe it. I he couldn't that. accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Nope. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Uh -huh. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Maybe. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Well, I want it. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly Ooh. the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find Text this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators well, are set to rock. explode, and eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. On, you are the here. star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one I of them I can't remember. <laughs> more time to talk about you, uh... about me. Where we're going? Oh God, what all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? That's four. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. Uh -huh. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Die? To me. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, Incredible. swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. 
I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go oh, around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. What? But I'm enjoying this so much. Yes, I'm I know what. To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Well, aren't you generous? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Ooh. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I would have liked I mean, to have thought so. You. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you so. say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Not really. <laughs> Stanley, Console you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. Goodbye, so employee 427. Can't. Oh dear. <laughs> Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. I don't want to blow up. Will you cling up. desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe Turn me, I will be laughing Turn every off. second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Ow. Um, uh, I can't imagine fallout in nuclear materials very easy to get out of clothes. Oh, I'm alive again. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Oh, that's a good fun game. Well, there's so much more to do in this. I'm not going to have it all in one video. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again another time. Bye!